Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a three-card spread, daily energies for all zodiac signs for July 29th, 2019. I've pre-shuffled the cards. I have three cards here for you. We have the... I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't read my card upside down. Oh, okay, we have these nine of swords in the reverse. We have the... Eight of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Strength card. And you have to forgive me because my sinuses are bad. My voice is like going in and out. It's because of my allergies are really acting up today. So, anyway, let's get with the first card. Usually, when you get this card, you are in depre you are depressed. You see the woman's laying in her bed and she's crying. She's hanging her head. Um. She's very depressed. Something bad, traumatic happened to her. But it's in the reverse. So I'm seeing that a lot of you had a either a breakup, um, a third-party situation that you were initially shocked with. Um, you found out that your lover or spouse was cheating. I see someone that um, your spouse said they wanted a divorce. And it shocked you and you were depressed. Um, or you already got a divorce, or you already broke up with someone. I see a friendship that had was broken up, you know, and, but it was a big shock to you, like your best friend didn't want to talk to you anymore. I see some of you had lost your job, and it was a big shock because you didn't think you were going to get fired, or, you know, that someone was talking about you, you didn't, you didn't know that was going on, and you got fired because of that. But it's in it's passing, okay. You're you it was traumatic for you, and you know it kind of changed your life a little bit. But it, you, it's passing, so now you're beginning to accept it. You're healing, and you're feeling like okay, tomorrow's a new day. You're gonna start over. I also see someone that was very sick. You went through like a life-threatening surgery. Maybe uh, it was. You had a heart attack, or you had heart surgery, or something like that, something real tragic, but you made it through, okay? So your health is going to start improving. You're going to come out of it okay. You're going to, it's going to be, or, or if you're facing that, you're going to have great success. Don't, please don't have surgery during mercury retrograde unless it's absolutely necessary, because a lot of people can uh, bleed out during mercury retrograde, or the surgery you'll have to redo it again so unless it's life-threatening then you know do it do what your doctor says I'm not a doctor okay I can't tell you what to do I can only give you advice so with the night of nine of swords reversed okay the dark cloud that like was hanging over you is, is passing okay and you're you're developing your strength you're getting back you know up on your feet again so and the tragedy is passing Okay, so the same with the this Cups card. Oh, and I'm seeing a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could have broke your heart or, or um, you know, whatever they did to you is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so when this cup is in the reverse, this man has, was walking away. He says, I'm done. I'm going up the hill. I'm going to go see... What's out there for me, I'm going higher up than where I was before. But it's in the reverse. So that actually means that you're there. You made it to that side. You're you leave in the past behind. You're ready to start over. You're gonna you're moving into success. You're gonna start feeling joy and happiness and pleasure. You're back to the physical world. You're ready to go out. You're ready to to um you know have fun again. Um, and also means that there's a new love interest coming, that some of you are going to have an offer from a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, they're going to offer you new love. Um, they might be traveling with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and love will develop during that trip. I'm seeing um, this person coming closer or a condition, some kind of condition coming closer is what I'm hearing. But you're getting your passion back. You're getting your will to get back up and live. And you want to start over and enjoy your life again. I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing tra you traveling with your friends. I'm seeing uh, new adventures coming with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And um, there's going to be passion involved. See how he's wearing red? Okay, red always means passion. So when he's moving up the hill, 
you know, he's looking for a new passion. Okay, so when it's in the reverse, there's new passion coming in, new love coming in. And since it's red, that that's a love interest. Sorry, I got polish on my finger. Um, there's a new love interest coming in. And there's going to, there's an adventure. If you travel with someone, there's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's going to end up, you know, in a happy, it's going to be a happy travel. Good things are going to happen. Okay. Now the next one is strength. Um, you see how she's trying to shut the mouth of the lion? Because she's trying to get her strength back. Okay, the lion is scary. It's like life. Life is roaring at you. You're scared. But she's trying to shut it down because she's trying to gather her strength. This is the sign of infinity. So that means forever. Okay, so when this relationship here comes in, it's going to be uh, one that's lasting. It's going to last forever. Okay, so it could be with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that is going to be offering you this new love. Um, don't get married during Mercury retrograde. Get, if you want to get married or move in together, wait till August after August 2nd. You know, once the Mercury retrograde phase passes, and you'll be in a much pe better position. Because if you do it now, it's not going to last. Okay, Any anything new, like love coming in, love offers that that are coming in during Mercury retrograde don't last if you accept it. You can, like, what I mean is that you can go out with that person and get closer and everything. But if they want to give you an engagement ring, accept it after August 2nd. If they say, move in with me, wait till after August 2nd. You know, if you want to get married, wait till after August 2nd, because that's when Mercury Retrograde passes and you'll be okay. You know, you won't have to redo it, because Mercury is the planet of redo, okay? Um, this person is going to show you unconditional love and understanding. Some of you haven't had that. You feel like, you know, that's what you, you've been wanting your whole life, because no one's ever showed you, especially Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm, I'm seeing that. You know, no one has showed you real love or, or um, you know, passion. Uh, you've pretty much given it, but you, you haven't gotten it in return. You know, a lot of cancers are like that. They give and give and give, and they take a, get taken advantage of, and then they don't get nothing in return, and they end up with broken hearts. And it's hard for cancers because, or water signs, basically, because they're real, real giving. They're real kind. They're the kindest zodiac sign you know, out there because they're the ones that give the most. You know, when they love, they love hard. They love with all their heart. They're not selfish. and They love unconditionally, which in turn makes them have broken hearts or getting taken advantage of. And it's not their fault. That's just their nature. Okay. So I am seeing for cancers that, you know, this person that's coming in is going to show you unconditional love and passion like you've always dreamed of. You know, that's something you've always dreamed of, and that's what's what's coming. But it's also telling you, the strength card is to gather your strength. You know, be courageous, gather your strength. Don't be afraid, you know, to move forward. Um, you're going to be okay, especially if you had a major breakup during this retrograde. You know, you're kind of afraid of love, of getting back into a relationship. Don't be afraid of that, because um, you're going to make it. You're going to be okay. All right, so that's what I'm seeing for all, all you zodiac signs. Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, come back again for another reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.